There's nothing like a dirty girl in lingerie eating pizza. <laughs> The video for Final Warning is actually a totally different twist on the song because the song you would listen to it and think that I'm talking about my boyfriend is cheating on me. But in the video, what actually happens is I'm the mistress to this dude who's married to another woman and I'm mad that he married this other woman instead of me kind of thing. So the concept of the video is that he tries to murder me because he wants to get rid of me because he doesn't want his whole life to fall apart because he's got this mistress and he botches the murder. So then I come back and I actually confront him in front of his whole family at his birthday party. Like this. This is your final warning. There's a dark cloud overhead. This is your final warning. Just remember what I said. Cause someone's gonna get hurt. The concept of this video was a total surprise to me. It came through um, the treatment that Brewer wrote. They're a young directing couple of brothers. You get the whole table in the frame. So talented, and I was not expecting this treatment at all. But as soon as I read it, I fell in love with it. I was super inspired by it. So that's how I, that's how I discovered it. A fantastic, Making is this love. part of the fantastic night? Well, the bra and underwear is. Well, yeah, you look great. We were. Uh, Getting it on. Yeah, well, you gotta see what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the same thing, actually. I play a mistress, and my lover is having a birthday party with his family and his wife, and I come in to the house like this, all muddy, because I've basically came out of a ditch that he threw me in after trying to murder me and, and not succeeding. Cut. I walk into the house during this party, crash the party. Everybody freaks out, and then what happens is he tries to finish me off for good. What should I do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it actually took me quite a while to get all this mud all over me. We used a combination of makeup, and then when that wasn't really doing it, we actually went out and grabbed a handful of dirt and mixed it with water and rubbed that all over me. And then on top of that, there's this chocolate substance that is also on me. So <laughs> it's a mixture of dirt, chocolate, and makeup. I just, I just had a mud bath. Still, yeah. I'm still in it. I'm still in the mud bath. Final Warning is a song that I wrote actually the exact same week that I wrote Love the Way You Lie. It's the oldest song on the album. And I was in the cabin in the woods in Oregon when I wrote it. And it was actually inspired by the same tumultuous relationship that inspired Love the Way You Lie. So it's going back in time. I would say that Final Warning is definitely more representative of the rest of the album, uh, sonically especially. The, the more soft tone of the vocal and the melodic and minor you know, chord changes and stuff like that, I think definitely represents the album more. Come On Let Me Ride was a very fun breath of fresh air for me because most of the stuff I do is really dark and you know, mellow, but um, you gotta change it up sometimes. I got to vomit a bunch of black yuckiness. It was awesome. <laughs>